come in Arabic to say that please. That's right? Alhamdulillah, uh, wassalamu alaikum I'm very happy. Thank you very much for asking me to come today and uh, to be with you today. Today I'm in a celebratory mood, celebrating you, because you are the achievers. After 34 years, you are here. And in the coming 35 years, you will be here again. And in the coming 350 years, you will be here again and again and again in spirit, in action, in role modeling. So when I look at your faces, it's global faces. It's not local, but local as well. It's global as well as local. You bring your local culture to the global humanity and community. And this is the beauty of you being together. From different culture background, different value-based background, and different ethnicity, but united in the common cause to serve humanity and to save humanity and to lead humanity. We don't stop just by serving and saving has to have an end by a good leadership from all of you. I'm celebrating today. So today is our success is celebration. Celebration, celebration at a time when the atmosphere is cloudy, gloomy, Islamophobe atmosphere, and so on. But here we celebrate the presence of the achievers, and you look at the milestones that you created over the last, the last 35 years. And the roadmap you are trying to show humanity that you're going to achieve through the coming 50 years. So I will have a meeting with you, my lady, in 2059, or 69 is better? Let's see if I'm still going by then. No, you will be there. <laughs> we'll meet in 2069. Have a cup of tea in Starbucks or Ali Bucks. At that time, we call it Ali Bucks or Martin Bucks. Costa. Costa. <laughs> you got it. So we have to see the future generation through, going through our achievement. So we talked about the program. We talk about fundraising. We talk about PR. This is the beginning. We need the money. This is the beginning. But if we would like to become change maker, huh, we have to raise funds for the most difficult, which is development, development, development. Development, development, development. Development is not just a project. It's a program. Five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, a never-ending story. A never-ending story. More difficult, more difficult to do is to fundraise for advocacy, for research, for capacity building. We should not just celebrate distributing food, water, and aid material. This is like a starter in a big meal. But what is the main course? is research, is advocacy, and one of the main course meal is the development. So when we start with the appetizer that we are doing nowadays, very good, and everybody is very good in doing the appetizer, the humanitarian response. We need to go from the humanitarian response to the social response. Our duty is not to feed humanity. Allah will not ask us how many people you fed, but Allah will ask us how much effort you made to build the community, to create leadership, to save community through structuring it, through research, through advocacy, through communication, through connection, through training, through empowerment of women, youth, and children. I was talking yesterday about a cry for a Palestinian girl. 
was fighting with her uh, mother and auntie, whatever, because of the generation gap. This generation gap led her to know, to tell them, how can I have a culture? And they don't have a country. Our good future plan is to protect the, the, the community that we are working to help, to prevent this uh, the, the dividing it, destroying it, keeping it together. So the starter is humanitarian response. A part of the main course meal is the development, but the real meal is advocacy and research and capacity building and creating future leadership. And this is what we need to give the world the message. The message is about a young boy who have no future in Bosnia, in Syria, in Myanmar. You make him or her huh? a minister, a professor, and a leader to save his community and through your work to save humanity. This is the most difficult. Ten years ago, five, five, one, uh, seven, seven, one, one was it? 2005, isn't it? Seven, seven was 2005, isn't it? Yeah. When we were giving, uh, uh, during this incident which happened in London in 2005, a check to the Lord Mayor in London was about $500,000 to buy ambulances for the victims, to help the victims of uh, seven, seven. At that time, we talked to them about our future and our success. Our success that you have started the humanitarian movement in 1984 in the West. 1984 in the West. 2005, we're talking about when are we going to build the social movement through the humanitarian response. You have to link both of them together. And our philosophy is to take a part of the humanitarian response and educate our donors. Educate our donors, educate our donors to take a part of the humanitarian response, to make this social response and to build the community, to build the society and to build the future. And this is a challenge which need each and every one of us in our locality, huh? in our locality to do what? To educate the donor, to educate the imam, to educate the priests, to educate, to educate the monks and everybody who are responsible for community building, but who are not responsible forever for feeding people. Allah who created them will look after them, but Allah will make us accountable for what we have done for Yemen to rebuild Yemen again as a community, for Iraq to rebuild the Iraq again as community, for Bosnia to rebuild Bosnia again as community, and for Myanmar to rebuild the, to rebuild the Rohingya or the Arakan area for them as a community. This is our responsibility. And this is, should be the end of our humanitarian response. Thank you very much for letting me to celebrate today. What's today? 7755 or 1010? Or 1010? 1710. 1710. So, sister, 1610, 2069, we'll meet together with Martin and Costa. <laughs> I'll meet you in Cox's Bazaar. There will be a Costa in Cox's Bazaar. Okay? 7, 1710 is the day after 1610. 1610 is World Food Day. So your message is it's not just about the food, it's about what comes after. What I've so come after the food. 1710 is the day after World Food Day, not just today. Okay, fine. 1710, <laughs> philosopher. <laughs> philosopher. Thank you, Mr. Philosopher. <laughs> so the, 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 the meeting with us and I'm telling anyone and everyone listening now will meet 2069 together who would like to come with us to this cup of tea which should be provided to us by her ladyship Judith Judith yeah. tea's on me <laughs> tea's on her in 2069 inshallah May Allah bless you. Today, I'm celebrating you. You are the success, and you are the achievement, and you are the future. And this is the message for you. Never let anyone to let you down, because the atmosphere outside is cloudy, gloomy, misty, or confusing. 
if you stick to the robe of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nobody will be ever to confuse you. Nobody. Never and forever. Will fa they will fail to confuse you. Because you stick to the robe of God, the creator, the source of everything. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair. May Allah bless you. Let us celebrate together. You have champagne today? <laughs> champagne in heaven, huh? <laughs> yeah, Assalamu alaikum. I'll meet you.